Okay, this is not the way I wanted to start this video, but I guess it'll do. Hi everyone, it's me, Larry. Larry, yes, long time no see. Long time you no see me. Well, in this case, you're looking at a vacuum, because I never see you. I am in my house, and I wanted to do a video of my Phantom Fury vacuum cleaner. This is a big delay. I've had a lot of sh shit going on, excuse my language. I know some people don't like cussing. And I, and I will warn you that I do cuss. Um, I wanted to record a video of my Phantom Vacuum. Um, I'm not going to cut it on right now. For Well, for one thing, I just woke up. As you can see right there in my Pioneer Woman coffee mug, I'm having a cup of coffee. And I'm watching Judge Joe Brown. <laughs> and, but, um, anyway, I wanted to make a video of the Phantom because it's one of my favorite vacuums. Now, I did call the number on the back of it one day, and like somebody on YouTube did, and they were right. It does redirect you to the Shark Vacuum Company, which I have a shark right there, but that's not what the video is about. It's about the Phantom. Um, It's a nice little vacuum. It works. It's ba I consider them as like basically an earlier Dyson, and, and, I, and these actually work better than um a dot uh, than a modern Dyson. Now, if you plan on trying to buy one brand new, you're out of luck because this company no no longer exists. Yeah, I, I think the company went out in like 2001, and then Dysons were introduced in 2002. Um, but anyway, hold on. I thought my uh, landline phone was ringing. Um. Anyway, uh, it's a nice vacuum. Now, I do. there's only one little issue with it, and that is when I first turn it on, it makes like a really weird noise, but then as I'm using it, it the noise stops. Um, I do have a belt on it, and it's not clogged or anything, because I can, us I can usually tell when a vacuum is clogged. Um, and I've been actually, and I know this is hard to believe, but I started repairing vacuums at the age of five, on my fifth birthday, actually, which was on August 24th of 2000. So I've been doing it for almost 21 years, and I'm still going strong. And um, and sometimes what I'll do is I'll take vacuums, like, off the side of the street or, and whatever, and uh, I bring them home, and then I'll plug them up, make sure they turn on, and if they're just clogged or whatever, um, I'll unclog them and then I'll sell them on Facebook Marketplace for what, what whatever I think is reasonable. I try to be reasonable with my prices, but I also try to do it like a thrift. If if, if, if that, this is not making any sense, but you know what I mean. Now I want to catch you up on my life. Let me get on camera here. Um, I have some family stuff going on right now, which is why I have not been able to record. Uh, my uncle Timmy is in hospice care. He's getting ready to dot, pass away of COPD. So that's not good. Um, and of course, uh, it's a lot. A lot of it probably has to do with how he has medical, medical, medical issues. Like you know, and a lot of it's alcohol related. Um, now the COPD is probably from years of smoking cigarettes. I, and I will admit, I smoke cigarettes, which I'm going to try to quit because a couple of nights ago, I had company over and they thought I may have had a heart attack. I don't, I'm still waiting on test results to find out, but, um, I'm nervous to know them, but, but, but if I don't hear anything, then that means, then I guess that would be good. And that's that. So I wanted to thank y'all so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Like, share with your friends, do everything, one of those things, make me a happy boy, and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Oh, that, there was a voice crack. Bye. I still can't do it. Bye. What the hell? Oh, where's the stop button?